hello hello and welcome to my channel this is your first time here my name is Kat I am a part-time reseller out of North Florida I average about ten thousand dollars in sales a month on eBay part-time also full-time nurse and mom so today I'm gonna talk a little bit about variety of items in your store and why I think that helps me get to that ten thousand dollars a month in sales so let's take a look at what's sold and talk about why it's a good idea to have variety. All right, guys, so today is Tuesday and it is the end of a four day weekend, three day, four day, whatever. It was Labor Day and we have 29 going out for us for a four day weekend that is really slow. So the total going out is 781.59. We typically on a regular weekend average over a thousand. So this is definitely on the lower end of what we sell. And I know for some of you that are new, you're like, I'd be thrilled with that. But what you have to do is compare yourself to you. Don't compare yourself to me. Don't compare yourself to Julian Bearded Thrift. Just compare yourself to you. Or if you want to have a little kind of competitive thing, do it with someone who has close to the same amount of listing and price point as you do. I posted on my Instagram that Julian was beating me and he did beat me. He had over 30 go out. Um, but he and I have a very similar price point and we also have um, a lot of listings. I have, I have double what he does but you know both of us are over a thousand so let's take a look at what's sold and um i'm gonna show you guys and you're gonna see you grab the first item here so you're gonna see i always have a wide variety and it's kind of weird stuff sells in waves so i have only a few breakables going out today so let's say i did only breakables only china I would have like four sales. Um, these are some stamps. This is the first thing that's sold and they are Christmas. So we're getting up on that stuff. So I've had these almost a year and they sold for $8.99 plus shipping. The buyer is $13.74 all in. The cool thing about these though is I bought a giant box of these craft stamps and I was in the profit within a couple weeks. So one of the things you have to look at when I'm saying get variety, and of course the more items you have listed, the more you will sell. One, it took me over a year to get to this point. And two, I have not unlimited, but I have a lot of storage space. So I have two 12 by 20 storage areas, plus a spare bedroom and this room you see behind me. So I have a lot of room. So if you don't have room, you either need to source smaller items or source items that will sell faster. I'm okay with like, I buy a big lot and then I'm in the profit on that lot within a couple weeks and the rest can sit here and sell over a year or however long it takes. So I just got these shorts. If you watch my thrift haul video, these are Eddie Bauer. They are new with tags. I paid $3.99 for these at my local thrift store last week. They sold in less than two days for $22 plus shipping. The buyer is $28.07 all in. So this is going to be over a $15 profit in less than two days. And then next is this really cool shirt. So again, the vintage shirts, I've had about three to four months, but I was in the profit really fast. So I think buying lots of items, whether it's at garage sales, estate sales, online. So like if you see somebody has a ton of cool vintage shirts, instead of picking through them, if you have storage space, ask how much for all. Get a really good discount and you'll make more profit. So this is a Barracuda shirt. Super cool. Barracuda is a bar and grill, as you see there. I paid $4 for this and a lot and it sold for 17 plus shipping. The buyer, or sorry, 17 free shipping. Buyer's 18 all in because of tax. So this is gonna be about a $5 profit, but some of these shirts have sold for 40 to $50. So up next is another shirt and it's crazy because like last Monday, it was almost all breakables going out. Today we have a ton of clothes going out. 
So that variety really helps when one thing's not selling, something else will if you have enough items and you have enough variety. So this is a cool Corona shirt from Aruba. This one, same thing, $4 in the shirt lot. This one sold for 25 free shipping. So this one will be about a $15 profit. So not too bad. As you see, some are gonna make a lot of profit. Some will make a little, some you'll break even, but overall in the lot, I'm gonna have a big profit. Been here forever. It is a Kenneth Cole ladies leather bag with like the canvas strap. Super cute. Um, individual cost was 50 cents. That was in a palette I bought like hundreds of pounds of purses. I have not found any cents. So that was kind of, a lot of this stuff's a one off. Like you're not gonna be able to repetitively find the same type of thing in big lots. So I had that one almost a year. It sold for $8.99 plus shipping. The buyer's $21.09 all in again on that purse lot. I sold a purse within a week that paid for everything. So if this stuff sits here for a little while, that's okay. Up next, this is super cool. So this is a sketching. You can see it is a Native American. This is a Hopi weaver. It is a sign lithograph you see there by Glasgow. Really cool. This was in my lot of um, vintage Native American ephemera. If you don't know what ephemera is, it's basically old paper products. So brochures, um, flyers, things like that. So. I only paid $60 for the whole lot plus shipping. I am all in the profit and this one sold for $45 plus shipping. The buyer paid $58.88 for that one print. So that one, I had to look up the artist on worthpoint.com. I do have a membership there because I find enough one-off items that it's worth it for me to pay. So I think it's like $26.99 a month, but if you're sourcing one of a kind items, worthpoint is priceless to help brushes. Same thing. I know I'm repetitive, but big lot. Um, Windsor and Newton is the one brand. Sorry. And then there are Wilton, which is another good brand. And Grumbacher. Grumbacher has some of the highest vintage paintbrushes you will find. And when I say that, I mean like $200 for one paintbrush. So, and it doesn't matter if they're used. If you see somebody having a yard sale that has a bunch of painting supplies, I would look closer. I have made a ton of money off of that lot. And this buyer bought those three sets and they paid $65.97 plus shipping. They're $78.99 all in. That's basically all profit. So over a $50 profit on paintbrushes. So watch for those. Up next, this is one of those things that unless you know, you're not going to think this would sell. So this is a little Barbie house piece, has a little koi pond there. So I got um, a couple of pallets full of Barbie houses. I made complete ones that I could and the rest of the pieces I lotted up. So Barbie parts furniture, dishes, anything Barbie sells, it, which is crazy because you can find big lots of that at garage sales and flea markets and things like that. So I have basically nothing into that. It sold for $17.99 plus shipping. The buyer's $24.04 all in. It sold in about two months, so not a super long time and a really good profit. Up next, and I love the fact, and don't ask me how I do it, um, you have to learn how to describe stuff so people can find it and use those keywords. So this thing is a bud face. You can see it's pretty small, but it's super heavy, like three pounds. Um, you can see like inside is glazed as well. The artist did sign it there. But I think just like a regular person at an art studio, this isn't like a um, pottery company or anything like that. So... Vintage, heavy, green glaze, swirl because of the lines. Five inch studio made art base. This one I have less than a dollar and it sold for $15 
plus shipping. Shipping is high because it's three pounds. Um, buyers twenty nine twenty seven all in. This would be a great item for pirate ship because it's really heavy and it's really small. So I'll probably put this in a six by eight by four box and get a quote from pirate ship. Next. So if you remember my flag that I sold last week on auction, that was in a big bicentennial lot. Again, whole box of stuff, 10 bucks. So same theme. You can kind of like I searched Bicentennial just to get an idea if Bicentennial memorabilia was selling before I bought this lot, but it was. This has been listed less than two weeks. It is a little American Revolution Bicentennial patch. I have less than 50 cents in. It sold for $7.75 plus shipping. The buyer's $13.49 all in. Another item, not going to the same buyer. This is a shirt that was in that same lot. It says, happy birthday, America. This one is a medium. This, I would assume, is from 1970s. And this one, trying to find it here, it's very stained. I put that in the listing and made sure to disclose that. It sold for $23.99, free shipping, same thing. Less than 50 cents in, five to ship, or $15 profit on that listed less than two weeks next this is a vintage bordello pinheiro this is asparagus i thought it was bamboo but when i searched google lens by photo this is an asparagus tray so this is 12 by 6 unfortunately the stamp is worn off but i was able to identify what company made it by google lens and I paid less than a dollar for this and it sold for $19.19 plus shipping buyers $32.57 all in and it took less than a month. Next, and I lost one of them. So it's a set of three. I'm gonna have to find where I dropped the other one. So these are colors tools. Um, these are in a basket at my little local thrift store by the checkout. I think Walmart donates them clearance stuff sometimes. And I paid like, $1.99 for like 15 or more of them. So I only have like 20 cents in. This, it's a lot of three sold for $8.99 free shipping, but it only costs like $2.80 probably to ship. So I will have about a $5 profit on that. And I only have one set left. So those have sold pretty fast. Up next is an item out of the linen closet that I got at the last estate sale pickup. So this you see K. Tice Phillips there. When you list these flags, Tolan is the brand. Um, brand can be important and help it sell faster, but it's definitely not necessary. It's going to be the subject matter that I think sells the flag. So this one is a shamrock there. No words. So it could be for somebody that's Irish or maybe they're putting it up for St. Patrick's Day. This one is vintage. Um, most of the garden flags that were in that lot were from the 1990s. So I couldn't get exact comps. I listed most of them at 20. I sent the buyer an offer of 16. They took it. They are $20 and 75 cents all in. The linen closet is in the profit. So all of this except these. So probably about $12 is all profit. And then up next, this is another thing. If stuff looks cool, it is marked, but I couldn't find this signature to know. So I got this at a garage sale. I just thought it was super cool. The turquoise, it's ceramic, has this really cool little pendant there with the feathers. So I put this moccasin boot turquoise leather because there is leather ties there. Silver Charm Pottery Vintage Signed RS. Paid a dollar at a garage sale, sold in three months for $26, plus shipping the buyers $39.12 all in on this super heavy. So this is, is gonna cost me a little more to ship and I have been doing free shipping on the shirts. This is a V-Twin Power Harley Davidson. This one is a bigger size. It is an XL, um, same lot. $4 for the shirt sold for $27 free shipping shipping on this will probably be about $7.50 we have $4 cost in so about a $10 to $12 profit on this is going international 
I got this at the lot when I went down to South Florida not too long ago. It's only been listed about three weeks. So this is a beautiful piece. This is Noritake Bone China Pacific Majesty. So this is the creamer. This is like super, super delicate compared to a lot of the china that I sell. So that's the creamer and also this covered sugar. Really cool. Excellent shape. It is going over, I think, to Australia. And the buyer paid 35 plus shipping. They are 57 in to me, plus it's going global shipping. So I would say they probably paid over $100 for this set. I have a, so I paid $50 for the whole set and I have an eight piece setting plus I have these two pieces. So this is going to pay for more than half. And when I sell one play setting, the other set will all get profit. I got these at an auction. I got like five of them. They are house divided, um, FSU and Florida Gators and Gators football is starting soon so sports stuff is starting to sell a 13 by 18 flag I did not take it out to photograph I just photographed the photo they bought two of them for $16 $8 each plus shipping they are $26.60 all in and I'm less than a dollar in so this will be about a $13 profit so you can see it does have the price tag it was originally $24.99 but I paid less than a dollar next are some more hotel sets these are Hard Rock Cafe. These are sweet grass. They smell really good. Um, so this buyer paid $15 plus shipping, $24.49 all in. I got these for like a quarter a piece, so just a couple bucks in on these. I got hundreds. I don't know what somebody was doing with hundreds of Hard Rock soaps, but I bought them. And this is another pickup from the thrift store um, earlier this week. I was going to go this morning, but I haven't decided yet. I need to list. Um, so this is Cemetery Man. Vintage horror VHSs sell amazing. I paid 99 cents. This sold within an hour for 20 plus shipping. I sent them an offer and I think I sent them too low of an offer. So 24.20 all in. This will ship media mail and a quick $17, $18 profit on that. This Avon plate, and I did get this at an auction. Sorry, I'm, I skipped it because it was on the bottom earlier, guys. Um, so, this is still in the box. It's a Cardinal North American Songbird plate. I paid less than a dollar, sold for $8.99 plus shipping. The buyer is $21.25 all in. What's nice is this is in that styrofoam, so it is protected, which is great. Next, this is my last John Deere bowl, so I'm almost out of John Deere um, dinnerware. This one you can see is Gibson. One of the big things with this one is the wheat, so the John Deere with the wheat sell a little better. So I paid a dollar, it sold for eight plus shipping. The buyer's $19.15 all in. I just realized I sold the other bicentennial t-shirt like I showed you earlier but in a size large um I didn't realize they both sold so I only pulled one I gotta go back and get that and then up next some more of them all right so here is the other happy birthday this one didn't have the stains so sold for 24 free shipping and Again, less than 50 cents in. It's kind of crazy. Both of the Bicentennial shirts sold within hours of each other to different buyers. So oh, maybe Poshmark have not listed, have not shared in two months, still getting about one to two sales a day. This is a Royal Scott wool blanket. Let's see if I can find it. There is the tag. $4 at Goodwill. Once again, I'll pick up these throws all day long. Super easy to ship. It did take about five months for this to sell. Sold on Poshmark for $27 plus shipping. So I'm going to make about an $18 profit on that. And then the other item that sold on Poshmark, I am in the profit on this lot, but less than $5 in, is this Betsy Johnson Panda Bear Necklace with the little bow. 
I showed this last time, but I will show it again. Betsy Johnson has that BJ there. So this one sold for $30 on Poshmark plus shipping. So Betsy Johnson's a great brand and I am seeing that I don't have to list or share on Poshmark to have sales. I'm probably gonna start cross posting here for Q4 again over to Marcari and Poshmark to try and get some more sales. So I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you had fun at the live show last night and I'll see you on the next one. You can't catch it? You're going to catch it? Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>